I think one of the best characters to compare Rengar with that he'll translate to into a fighting game will be Wolverine from Marvel 3 Observe. Wolverine is a fast rush down type character that has great ground movement. He may not have any great air movement but he does have drill call that he can use in the 8 cardinal directions when he jumps. It's a commitment but it is an option. On top of all that he has Berserker Slash which is an offensive movement option that can cross up your opponent and can combo into an add up. So I could definitely see Rengar having something similar to this, especially because he has a leap. Rengar's passive allows him to leap from brush with his basic attack similar to Berserker's Slash, as well as gives him ferocity when he uses an ability. Once full, it makes his next nice attack stronger. Defeating Champs gives attack buffs. I can see them applying this buff to attacks landed instead and perhaps capping it at 5 or 10% damage buff due to the fact that you can't defeat more than 2 champs per game. First ability, Savagery. Rengar's next attack brutally stabs his target for bonus damage. Ferocity effect deals increased damage and grants attack speed. This would translate to just normal attacks and perhaps a special or two that he would string together in a combo. It would probably look something similar to this to what Wolverine can do. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, he has a dive kick for movement, so you know, let's hope that Rengar doesn't have that, because dive kicks are usually busted. Moving on to Rengar's Battle Roar. Rengar lets out a Battle Roar, damaging enemies and healing for some of the recent damage he has taken. Ferocity effect additionally breaks crowd control effects. We know that status effects are in the game, we saw Jinx in the trailer applying shock to the opponent. So I can see this ability from Rengar not only being a comboable move, but also removing debuffs such as poison or burn for example. The best reference I could find to what this could look like was Sindel from Mortal Kombat. Perhaps it would be changed to a projectile move, or maybe they'll keep it as a burst type move. I'm not really sure, but either way would work for this character. Bola Strike. Ringer throws a bola, slowing the first target hit for a short duration. Ferocity effects root to target. I have the perfect example of what this will look like. Shoutouts to Deadpool and Marvel 3. It ensnares opponent on hit and it can be used on the ground or in the air and even be used in combos. You can even do some pretty silly combos with it and I love it. Here's a quick silly example of one of the combos I was talking about that you can do with Bolo. Now let's get into Rengar's ult. Thrill of the Hunt. Rengar's predatory instincts take over, camouflaging him and revealing the nearest enemy champion in a large radius around him. During Thrill of the Hunt, Rengar gains move speed and he can leap to the track enemy without being in brush, reducing their armor. So I can see them getting rid of the invisibility, the cloaking ability, right? But I have the perfect example of how they can transition this into the game for the buffs. Let me introduce you to Wolverine Super Berserker Charge. It literally makes him faster in every single way and even gives him some new combo routes. Here, let me show y'all. This is what the combo looks like when I try to do it without Berserker Charge. It's not possible, right? But here's what it looks like when I am in Berserker Charge. All of a sudden, it works. I'm really hoping that this is a thing they give to Rengar because who doesn't love new different types of combos, right? It just gives the game more charm and personality, especially to the character. The last thing to mention about Berserker Charge is that you can use it in the middle of combos. If Rengar does have something similar, I hope it translates the same way. Okay, now let's put everything together of what a combo could potentially look like. You have the resources for the install super, in this case Berserker Charge, as well as your assist being ready to be called to extend the combo, enough meter for another super at the end of the combo. If the game gives you as much freedom as I'm hoping, you'd be able to do something similar to this. Maybe not super into super, but one can hope. Wolverine's throws are him just slashing the hell out of his opponent. You can even get more hits if you match the throw button. You can gobble off his throws as long as you have the resources. His air throw works the exact same way, so not much to note here. I can see Rengar having something just like this when it comes to him having to throw in a projectile. Again, quick recap on his special moves. Dive kick, tornado claw, which is a rising uppercut. That does more hits as you mash, Berserker Barrage, same thing, more hits as you mash, and finally Berserker Slash. Great for handshake tag if he has something similar. Alright, now let's get into Wolverine's assist. If you remember from the dev update, they had talked about that each character will have three different types of assist. Here are what Wolverine's three types of assist are. One is a rising uppercut that you need a jump to convert off of. The other is Berserker Slash. If Rengar has something similar, it would be great for Handshake Tag. Here's a reminder. Handshake Tag lets you immediately swap between your point and assist champions as long as they're both on screen. Thank you, Sean. You would be able to sandwich your opponent, which would be great for the game and the mechanics. And finally, Berserker Barrage. It's just a straightforward attack type move to help you get in. 
Of course you gotta combo off it. Lastly for Rengar, here's what some of his supers could look like. His level 1 and his level 3, which I hope he has something similar to this, or something that fits him as a character, because these are pretty flashy, at least his level 3 is. Of course there's also Berserker Charge, but you've already seen what that looks like. Here we have Thresh who fights with the Chain and Lantern. I'll be using Spencer as a reference due to him having a grapple. Oh, no, I'm dumb, I'm dumb. Axel's a way better character to use, observe. Well, you must be quite a fighter to make it past my cow. What is Kung it Pao, want? great movie, go watch it if you haven't. Alright, Thresh passive, he harvests souls of his enemies that die near him, permanently grind him armor and ability power. Best way to translate this would be to buff him on hit or certain hits, not so much after a character is KO, cause like I said earlier, you know, it's 2v2. Looking at Thresh's first ability, you bind an enemy in chains and pull them towards you. Activating this ability a second time pulls Thresh to the enemy. Basically, this seems like a command grab, whichever way you look at it, or even a hit grab with two different properties. Shoutouts to our boy Axel, who literally has this move with two different properties. So here's what it could look like and what could happen after you land it, right? The post command grab setup or meaty. As you can see, depending on where he lands a command grab, it changes his combo route. Thresh's next ability, he throws out his lantern and shields an ally champion from damage. Allies can click the lantern to dash the Thresh. I can see them keeping this move exactly the same for Project L. Luckily, I have a few characters to show exactly what it would look like and how it would work in-game. In DBFZ, the androids have a barrier assist that shields you from damage. Android 17's barrier is amazing due to the fact that not only does it protect you, but he also attacks you when you call the assist. Perhaps they'll give you this as an option with Thresh. If you as the point character throw the barrier out, you can counterattack your opponent and it gives you more meter as well. Let's talk about what Thresh's normals could look like. I think Axel is a great example of what they could potentially be, having chain singles and all, you know, very similar. Anyways, Axel does an incredible job at keeping his opponents at bay with attacks that hit across the screen, making it rather difficult for their opponent to get in, so I could definitely see Thresh being similar to this archetype. The next ability, Flay. Thresh attacks wind up dealing more damage the longer he waits between attacks. When activated, Thresh sweeps his chain, knocking all enemies hit in the direction of the blow. For this ability, it would make the most sense to have it be a charge move, whether by holding down a button or holding a motion. Just like Sickle Flash from Axel, they can even have follow-ups to it to make the move have personality. Depending on if you hit a button or a direction, just like Axel, he has three different types of follow-ups depending on the situation. You pick what's the best option, or you just don't have to pick an option at all. The rest of Axel's special moves are Rainwater, which is a retreating sickle slash move, Snail, which is an upward slashing special that can also be done in the air that goes downward, and finally Axel Bomber. This could potentially be a wall bounce type move if Thresh has anything similar. Now imagine these combos, but Thresh. Considering the gameplay we already know about, I would imagine that every character is at least going to have access to one ground bounce and one wall bounce and then their own unique mechanics. Instead of this Roman cancel, the blue aura that comes out of Axel, imagine it's an assist call in the context of Project L. Lastly we have Thresh's ult, The Box, a prison of walls that slows and deals damage if broken. They could rework this a few ways to work for the game. I have two examples of ways that the slowdown super could work. The first one being Amaterasu. Her super veil of mist is a utility super that slows down the opponent's entire team while it is active. No need to hit your opponent to activate the effect. Now, the second one is with Beautiful Joe. Similar concept, but you have to hit your opponent with it. However, the slowdown effects last much longer than veil of mist, but they only slow down the affected character. For those of you wondering how much longer, Beautiful Joe is 10 seconds, Amaterasu is 5. For Thresh's level 3 super, the concept of Thresh stealing souls could work under this one condition. Now bear with me here. Thresh steals the souls of his enemies, right? Well, what if his level 3 was a penance stare type super, just like Ghost Rider? It would be so sick and stealing a soul for some sort of buff could work in this context. Maybe even let him combo after it if it's a command grab super. Finally, for assists besides the barriers I mentioned earlier, I could see Thresh having moves similar to what Ghost Rider has as an assist. Just pick and choose whichever one you think is the coolest. I could also see some of these moves even being a special or two. 
Regarding Thresh's movement, I don't think he's gonna have anything different, anything special, but um, seems like he'll be pretty standard. Right, almost forgot about the grabs. Thresh seems like a very disrespectful person, and this seems like a very disrespectful throw. So I'm hoping that he has something that's as disrespectful or close to this. Getting hit by a chain and then kicked? Kinda sick. Alright, that's it for the video. Please let me know in the comments if I miss anything regarding the League Champions, or if you have your own ideas. I'd love to hear them. As well as other characters you'd want me to cover in this video series. If you enjoyed the content, please subscribe, as I'll be focusing my content more towards Project Dallas as it gets closer. As always, thanks for watching, until next time.